everyone. Today we're going to be learning all about financial literacy. I'm going to be teaching you some new vocabulary and we're going to learn all about some different things about money. So to get started, let's check in with Freckles, the Boston Terrier. She is really dreaming of getting a job as a manager of the Boston Terrier Ice Cream Company. All right, now we're going to talk about some vocabulary words so that we have a really good understanding of these things before we get started. So let's start with supply. Let's understand what that means. So supply means how much of something there is. So we could be talking about resources in the world. So, you know, uh, for example, how much gold is there? Um, if there's a lot, then there's a high supply. If there's not a lot, there's a lower supply. We could also be talking about, you know, products in stores, like let's say toys in a store. If there's a lot of a certain type of toy, it's got a high supply. If, there, if there's a low amount, it's got a low supply. And we're going to learn more about how that affects the price of things too. Next, let's learn about demand. So demand is talking about how many people want that certain thing. So, you know, if there's a high demand for something, that means a lot of people are looking for it and want to buy it. If there's a low demand for something, that means not so many people are trying to buy it. Okay, the next word is human capital. And that is talking about all of the different education, experience that someone might have, good qualities that they have that would make a company want to hire them. So it's pretty much just all of the things that people do to get a job. And speaking of all those things, Freckles has been working so hard on her resume. Let's take a look at what she has been working on. It says she is seeking a position as the manager. Uh, she Her education includes a bachelor's degree in restaurant management at Texas A&M. That's going to mean a lot to the employer. And she has some experience as an assistant manager at Chico's Diner. That's great. And her personal qualities include being creative, dedicated. She's a team player and prompt. All right, so what are some examples of her human capital? I want you to stop and think about her resume and see if you can pick out what are the examples of that. Okay, so some of you might have said her college degree. That's a great example of human capital. Some of you also might have said her experience as an assistant manager. That's great too. Um, her good qualities are another example of human capital. Great job. All right. All of her hard work paid off and look at her. She got the job. She's doing a great job at the Boston Terrier ice cream cart. Okay, so let's use Freckles' new job to help us with supply and demand. So Freckles had a supply of 56 cups of chocolate ice cream, but had 84 people order it. How much greater is the demand for chocolate ice cream than the supply at the ice cream cart? I want you to pause the video, see if you can figure this out, then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, here's what I did. I did 84 minus 56 and I got 28. Great job. Freckles made a small batch of Boston Terrier toffee ice cream. Suddenly there is a high demand for this limited edition flavor. How might the high demand affect the price? What do you think? All right, that high demand might make the price go up. Great job, Freckles.
great work today, everyone. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. Bye.